fallen in two parts. The red shift is the shift of lines in the spectrum toward red as the distance of the light source becomes greater. The greater the distance from the light source, the greater the red shift. A shift in the spectrum that increases with distance is considered evidence for an expanding universe. Red shift. One, the first turning. Red shift, red shift, right ascension. Away from me, above, yet of me. This longing will not rest. Deep light, if I were yours. I heard you call me, broken, long ago, torn away. I heard you, fields of stars. You call not by voice, but by thought. Elements collide, your fire pours out, spirals deep into space. Your light, your dark, the whirl and rush redshift away from me. This longing will not rest. Long ago, broken, dismembered, torn away from me. Sheets of light, bright, curved, deep light. If I were yours, if I could draw you slowly towards me. Great heart, buried self. When you look at me, broken open, across voids and bright filaments, star forever turning away from me. What star forever turning? What red shift? Bitter to die without you. Two, the second turning. Red shift, red shift away from me, right ascension. Anama Mundi, head, of the, head among the stars, lady of stars, fields of stars, call me, not by voice, but by thought. Long curved lines, arcs, filaments, the first turning nourished, the second burned. Why do you turn from me? This longing will not rest. Why weep, deep as crystal coursing in clay, long ago torn, flying away. Smile burning through cloud, smile that destroys me, shimmer in the forest, deep light, pierced and penetrated. Angel, anima mundi, lady of the stars, rescue what is lost, bitter to die without you. Great heart, furious fire, Forever turning, what red shift did we come from? This longing will not rest. What star bears it away? Away from me, broken, torn from what we were. What we came from flies away in wheels of night. Next poem is called Blue Shift, which is the opposite movement. <clears throat> Morning surprise. The smaller it is, the slower the time. Pleasantly or unpleasantly enough, return from the borders of the undiscovered country. Day begins with a list of yesterday's resentments, omissions, anxieties, ever-present frustrations, Echoes of guilt, hovering at the edge of awareness. But we only need to do what has to be done. Suffering comes unsummoned, woven into the world as part of the pattern, even to the farthest rotations, even to the collapsing curves of space, beyond the names and numbers of angels. We are not angels. We have bodies. We are on this spinning earth. Yet there is a place at the heart where the geometries of time rest, where the hidden clamors to be found, where light returns to its source in intricate multiple images, sequences mirrored, ringed, each reflecting the next. It doesn't end but goes on forever. All that we are, 
everything that is light, light that we are, forever flowing out, out to the faraway gates. Destruction of habitats. The imbecile embrace of ideologies. The unclean crush of civilizations. Linnets, buntings, goldfinches, larks are gone. What has become of the flocks in winter? Only the carrion crow left in the hedges and the harsh complaints of predators. What has become of the songbirds? Silence strikes a blow. Absence appears like an idol. The 20th century school defeats its students, squanders, agitates, perplexes. We are preparing for our descendants the flawed oversimplifications, the climatic uncertainties, giant mounds of radioactive residues, a future landscape of fissionable hills. Everywhere frogs, toads, salamanders are disappearing. No one knows why acidity kills the spawn. A child dies with symptoms of immune suppression. A man remembers a poster saying AIDS kills, but does not know how he caught the virus. 111 days in the cave with electrodes wired to her body. No clock, no natural light. Soon after she emerged, she died. She complained of an emptiness inside her. In her diary, she wrote, I no longer know what is my purpose in life. They are still analyzing her brain waves, her pulse, the contents of her blood and urine. In the sea, phosphorus and nitrogen feed great blooms of algae. Elsewhere, Water is scarce, the supply intermittent. They institute a drinking water inspectorate. Oil spills, ozone escapes, forests shrink, and Greenland's ice grows thinner. At the pause, at the poise of equinox, there is a dancer in the shadows. The buried volcanic landscape is changing shape. All the dead animals are coming together in a great reunion. The maps of their bodies are superimposed on our eyelids. We are listening to their deep green history, and we are translating the hidden stream of their language. Earth's core in the shadow valleys, great folds of crust fall into rifts, erratic fluctuations churning and bubbling. Earth wobbles on her axis, perturbed by pulls from the sun, the moon, her iron core. Hot volcanic flows dance between pressure and heat. Roots of warm plumes burrow at the boundaries between mantle and core. The surface slides, planetary currents of magnetic fields mirror random scatterings of stars. It's not sleep, nor is it quite dreaming. What domains might exist? What other moons? Twisted, broken, the field lines fuse and release their flares. Energy writhes within the star. Time, a human invention, flows, ticks on of its own accord. But what rules the universe, links, entangles, knows no boundaries, goes through walls, ignores distance, denies the singular existence of the lone non-dreamer. Whose face? Endless, intricate, the mining of meanings, the air filled with fragrance, or was I imagining? 
swarming, repeating in mirrors of memory. The golden figure seen through the half-open door. Too fleeting these moments and trying in vain to keep. The angel, the god, the starry messenger, all fevered musings of agitated blood, apparitions and atoms of longing. Sweet, delicate madness. Uncover the subtle currents of feeling. Remembering Earth perceives you in your perceptions. Earth currents flow in you as in rivers. Your blood, the branching, radiating tree, moves with the tides of Earth. Your body, her body, pinned to the wheeling, turning star, pinned to the whirling body, crowded deep inside those other clusters of worlds. Whose face looks out of the glowing magma but yours? Regions, from treacherous horizons, from water and islands, the fiery wheel, the flowing air, the flame stars coming from a great distance. What was it that was lost? Name? A miracle? Very old, very new. It breathes us deep into black sleep, like a nest, a resting place where patience swims, suspended. What was it you caressed or possessed in the crying river? In the inventions of rage, the tribal words, the accelerated rhythms and repetitions of the dance. Our Orpheus has dark skin and smoke-colored eyes. He is clothed in animal furs and bird feathers. His mask is butterfly wings. buried mouth sucks at dryness. Voices wail, let me cross the great river to the refuge of distant clouds, the virtues of dark water. We made a great cup of earth and clay and prayed for it to fill with rain, but black sulfur turns to ash. Winds of soot bury the sacraments of moist, subtle flesh. In the dark rooms of the city, Days of routine supplication. Fluids unable to move in stone. Our wounds become its amusements. Bad news makes all the money. Falling, always falling. How deep is absolute deep? But the news travels fast. A great northern diver, a god of the firmament, plunges to feed on doubt and death. We know beauty and are sick of her. A city of ours and scandals, we know it will never be the same again. What was once a god gallops away in a distance of dust. What follows is false and does not really happen. The supervisors, the administrators, the directors, the managers, the commissioners, the captains, the chief executives, the legislators, the justifiers, explain to us how we died in Zion. Describe the face of discord and ask, what would you expect of this parent? Taking shape, radiating desire, a crystal nostalgia, a secret making rises through hands, tears, tongues, through silence, rises like wheat through midnight, rises like summer through a dark sun, rises in fumes through innermost blood, through soft boundaries of odor and flavor, emerges from the eclipse, larger than its origins in its slow, sufficient, upward flight. Once you could understand the roar of the ocean. You could understand the trees' patient whispers. You could understand the birds' leaping song. What doors the clouds and stars open? Gone now, all but the desire, not knowing 
We gave it away. I'll read two more. The Synergy Conference. This was a real conference that took place in Santa Monica. Um, and this event happened at a, at a coffee shop in the hotel where the conference was being held. <clears throat> the Synergy Conference. A man asks the waitress what the soup of the day is. She replies, clam chowder. What kind, he asks. Boston, she answers. That's New England, he says. Okay, I'll have it. She returns with Manhattan clam chowder. No, he says, this isn't New England. This red kind here is Manhattan. See, there are two kinds of clam chowder. The creamy white kind is Boston or New England. The red tomato kind is Manhattan. She leaves, and he says to a couple opposite at that counter, guess they don't know the difference here in California. Well, what exactly is the difference, asks a young woman. I never was too sure. Well, you see, he says the white creamy kind is New England, and the tomatoy kind <laughs> is Manhattan. <laughs> oh, she says. He leaves. Another man sits down. What's the soup of the day, he asks the waitress. <laughs> Clam chowder. Which kind, he asks. <laughs> The red kind, she replies. <laughs> <laughs> now for um, the last poem, I guess it's, it's time for me to wind up. Um, this is a poem I wrote after I had uh, heart surgery, quadruple bypass. It's called Persephone. <clears throat> My lover is darkness. In the night all the lost are found. Tonight the millennium nests in hives of stars, in blazing lights and years, so many nights and fires. What did you learn? I learned that the dark lover comes to claim his bride. I learned to feed and feed on dark. I learned the test, the trial, the commands of an intervening angel. I learned to wait, to burn in dark fires, I flew and fell in slow hours, sank in a deep abyss, sealed in night. I learned the nameless, secret thirst that aches in the dark when I die. I learned the light rekindles, new, each dawn. I learned that love is the answer to death's question. I want to thank you for coming and listening to